My name is Brett Yates, and this is my testimony. Um, Brett, why don't you start by telling us about like the influence of Christ in your household growing up? Yeah, sure. Um, so uh, I was raised in a very Christian home. So I was saved at a very young age. Uh, I was six, so very, very young age, exposed to um, Jesus and Christianity, you know, kind of right from the get-go. Uh, my dad was a pastor. My mom was a Christian school teacher. So, you know, I grew up in church, grew up in Iwanas. Um, I went to Christian school through elementary, through middle school. Um, so everything I kind of was, I was kind of in that, that Christian influence at all times. So I had a lot of Christian leaders and obviously very, very Christian parents. Yeah. Um, and I guess being raised with that kind of background, always in church and stuff, I'm sure there was, and, and, ra- and, and saved at the age of six, there had to be that certain turning point where it became not so much of a habit to go to church and stuff, but kind of a desire and uh, a desire to have that relationship with Christ in general. Right, yeah. And so like when you're a kid and you get exposed to all this stuff, and it's kind of like everybody's doing it. So it's just Christianity was to me something that you did. And like I think I truly believed in Jesus. I, I, I you know, I... I think I was truly a Christian, but it wasn't something that was intimate to me kind of on a personal level. It was just something you kind of did. And I think it was, you know, kind of more about, well, we'll try not to sin here, but it wasn't about like pursuing the Lord and a lot of other things. Um, it, it was just kind of, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't real yet. So, Do you remember, was there a certain thing you did specifically that changed that? Or was that just certain uh, point that you got to where you said, I want to find this personal relationship with Christ as opposed to just going to church or just reading the Bible because it was something you were supposed to do. Right, and I think like in testimonies, a lot of times you hear kind of like that dramatic like turning point or like some event that like dramatically changed your life. And I think God does that and that's awesome. But for me, it was, it was kind of more of a gradual experience. Um, I know kind of when I was getting older, I was probably in middle school. I was kind of like, man, you know, they talk about reading your Bible and praying a lot. So that's something I need to start doing if I'm gonna take this seriously. Um, so I got in there, I started, you know, reading the Bible more. I started praying, uh, kind of on my own for the first time without kind of like inside of a church setting or with kind of beyond like my parents' influence. Um, and so in that, God really ministered to me in ways that, you know, I wasn't expecting. Um, even through scripture, it's just, you know, I was kind of doing the bare minimum as far as reading goes. And it was still, there would be scripture that just sticks out to me, um, and just you know, kind of stuck at me. And then in prayer, it's just wow, you start to see all the all the ways that God's blessed you and all the things that He's done for you. Um, and I think the the one thing really that that kind of changed my perception of uh, being a Christian, what it was all about, was in prayer. I found a, a peace, um, and it's something that you know, it's 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 hard to explain. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but it's something that w- when you find that, it's kind of like well, I can I can feel God guiding me and, and taking care of me and providing in me. Or providing for me, um, and that's kind of when I was like, "Man, this is this is something that's real, and it's something that I need to pursue." Um, and so, yeah, gradually, it, it kind of I started to like get more serious about it. And then uh, there's, you know, I didn't, I don't think there was like a dramatic point, but there was kind of two points that that stick out to me um, that you know that I can remember pretty clearly. One, my dad was actually preaching, and I've heard him say this a lot while he's preaching. Uh, but there's one time uh, that I kind of specifically remember him saying this, and he said, it's not about what you've done, but it's about what, what God's done. And, and it kind of changed my perception of kind of what I thought Christianity was at that point. So kind of when you're, when you're young, I think, you know, and I talked about this earlier, you have that perception that, you know, being a Christian is about like not sinning. And then obviously like Jesus loved you, you love Jesus, uh, you believe in him, he forgives you, you're sinning, you go to heaven. But it's it's kind of like, your job as a Christian is to not sin. Um, And so when I heard that, it's not about what you do, but it's about what Christ has done. It took the spotlight off of me, and it it turned it on to what what God's done. So despite all my failures, despite all my flaws, um, God's still done a lot of awesome things. Uh, And He's obviously saved me, redeemed me. Um, And so that's when my perception of being a Christian changed from things that I do into, you know, praising God for the things that He's done in my life. Um, and then the other thing, it, it kind of kind of went along with this. I was reading, and uh, this is now kind of my go-to scripture uh, or your your life verse, or yeah. um, and it's it's a popular one. But it's First Corinthians ten thirty one. It's whether you eat or whether you sleep, and anything that you do, do it to the glory of God. Um, and, you know that, that verse stuck with me, and it said, and everything you do, do it to the glory of God. And it's like 
especially considering Paul who, who wrote that verse. It's kind of like, look at the ways that he committed himself to being a Christian and, and to serving God. Um, and it's like, wow, what would that be if that was reflected in our lives? And so that was kind of like a, whoa, heads up, Brett. Like this is something that we need to, you know, be committed to and, and sell out. And so I think that's when um, my faith really changed from something that you do to it, it really, God came in and said, you know what, your identity is not bread anymore. Your identity is going to be in Christ. Uh, and it's going to be in the things that I do through you. Um, so, yeah, I think, um, you know, it's kind of a gradual change, um, you know, to make it. Um, so since you found that intimate relationship with God, how did that kind of change? And, and what do you feel like he was kind of calling you to do at that point? Wow, well, yeah. So obviously, I think God's ministered a lot to me over the last few years. Like, yeah, a lot. And I can... You know, I think God encourages you and strengthens you and says, hey, you know what, it's not about, you know, you, but at the same time, He's going to challenge you too. Uh, and He's going to say, look, there are things in your life that need to change. And I think He's He's focused on some things about commitment and complacency. Um, something I think is really hard for Christians is, is constantly recommitting yourself to Christ. Uh, so I think that's one thing He's challenged me with. Um, but also I think um, patience and um, doubt is something he's really kind of brought to my attention and he's challenged me a few times um, kind of over the last several years um, and it, it kind of goes through a series and it's kind of like God puts me in a situation where I'm like I, I kind of want to know what's next and uh, I kind of think back to when I was trying to pick a college and it was kind of like I, you know I was really late and I was like I don't know why God's not opening a door and, and then he does um, and then it's kind of like when I broke my leg it was kind of like well God what are you doing here and it was like but God showed up at the end, and it, and it kind of all made sense, and there was, there was plans to it, and there was reasons for it. Um, and so God's done that continually through my life, and, and it's just kind of like I always doubt, and, it's, and I, I don't have that patience to see what God's doing. And I think God's done it because He's like, Brad, I want you to trust me. It's like, look at what happens at the end. You're always kind of like, well, why was I worried? Um, so I think God's continually trying to, to work on me with that and trying to be like, um, you know, don't worry so much. You just trust me. And I think that's hard for us as Christians to do, but I think that's also when it becomes more real and we can rely on God um, to handle those situations. Um, and I think God's made me a much more optimistic person to do that. Um, I found that peace, that joy that, you know, the Bible talks about. And, you know, I don't, looking back, I'm like, man, that's, I, I don't know how I live without kind of that peace and that joy that I found through that. And um, I think that's awesome. So, um, I think those are big ways. I think also we've started this this small group here, and we've we've had a kind of a group of um, guys that meet every Tuesday outside of the church, and we just talk about uh, anything and everything. And I think committing myself to fellowship was something that I, that was void in, in my Christian walk. I was kind of doing it on my own, and you just you can't. So when you commit to those group and you commit to being accountable with people and and you commit to ministering other people's lives, man, it's just going to see your walk with Christ just just take off. So I think it's just God continually um, giving me ways to commit more. And I think church seemed like such a chore. Uh, reading your Bible seemed like such a chore. But now it's like, man, I'm excited when, you know, we've got small group or we've got Bible study or we got service. You know, I, I get excited about those things. And when I when I get into the Word and, it, and it's, you know, it's just it's something I want to do. And, and prayer is something that's just, it, you know, it's the best feeling in the world. And you know, people that are Christians, you know, that's like, that's what I'm like, man, you guys, this is what, out. this is what you need. It's like, yeah. this is the best feeling, that peace. And, um, so yeah, I think, you know, God's just continually ministering to me like that. Um, so I think the biggest part of like, you know, finding that identity in Christ is, re you know, kind of going back to, it's not about what you've done, it's about what God's done. And so in my life now, it's like, I can look at all the things that God's done in my life and all the things he continues to do. And I'm like, man, it's, it's nothing I've done. Any blessing I have, it's, completely undeserved you know anything that I've done but it's it's all things God's done in my life and you know he's blessed me with so much um, you know I have had an awesome time here at school I've gotten to you know go to an awesome church at Mount Olive and I've gotten to you know be in an awesome small group here I've you know I've got an awesome fiance that I get to marry who's who loves the Lord and it's going to challenge me and encourage me um, you know for forever spiritually and um, you know I think I could go on with all the things that God's done for me and uh, you know there's not a tough time in this video even though I've gone pretty long I think but um, yeah it's just it, it, there is no better feeling than when you just you can feel God's presence in your life and it, and it becomes real